we've got a lot to discuss in this video. So hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I turned this simple notebook into my own create this journal. Um, I've I had this idea because recently I've been watching a lot of videos by Mariah Elizabeth and she has a lot of videos where she makes racket journals and her own create this book. So I decided to combine those and make a create this journal. So I just watched one of her videos and wrote down every idea I came up with while watching it. So in total I have 70 prompts and I will uh, write them all down in the description if some of you would like to use them. So I'm going to try to fulfill them all. It took pretty long to write them all down. You can see that every time I skipped a page, so I wrote it on the right side of a right page, skipped a page and wrote it on the left side of a left page, if that makes any sense, so I can stick them together to create thicker pages. And in the end I just kept some pages free, so if one of the prompts really doesn't work out I can just try it again in the back of the book. So now I'm bringing in my scrapbook paper. Just every time I see a nice image in a magazine or packing paper or anything, I just collect it. So for projects like this, I have a lot I can work with. I decided to take this pretty folder and just cut a piece out to decorate the front of my book. I also use this kind of woven paper thing I made sometime. And now I'm flipping open the book so I can create um, a nice image for both the back and the front. And yeah, now I'm just taking all of my uh, images and seeing how I can arrange them best. And I think this is always really satisfying to watch, so enjoy while I stick everything on. <laughs> I'm sorry if this video is a little long, but I had over an hour of footage, so I'm already really proud of myself that I managed to get it into 13, 13 minutes, but I'm sorry if it's a bit long. Here I'm doing the back and I really like how this turned out. It's really colorful and a bit messy and all kinds of things true and above each, each other and I really like that style and it's also a bit of the style I'm going to try to follow in this video. So I have 70 prompts and I'm going to try to um, finish the entire book, so all of the prompts in a hundred days. I started on June uh, 25th, so I need to finish it before October 3rd, 2019. And it might seem like not a lot because it's less than a page a day, but sometimes I'm really busy and I'm also going to uh, go on a vacation before then, so it's gonna be kind of tricky, but I'm going to try. So here I'm just starting with the very first page. The page says trace your hand on this page, so that's what I'm going to do. I just created a little box around the prompt and then I'm just going to trace my hand. Then I took a fine liner and I just started filling in the entire hand with these little leaf things and it goes really fast on the time lapse but it took quite a lot of time to fill it all in
Then I'm just adding some bigger leaves on the background and coloring them in with all the colors, the colored pencils that I have. So yeah, I quite like how this turned out. It's a bit simple, but I like it. So yeah, for the second page, the prompt was cut out a shape on this page. So I sketched a little elephant and here I'm just turning it around and tracing the lines on the background of the paper. Then I took some pieces of colored paper and I cut out a strip of them and just cut that into all different kind of shapes of triangles because I decided to go with the shape triangle. Then I took my glue and I just started sticking the triangles all around the uh, sketch I made so it do didn't have to stay in the lines because I'm going to cut that. I just made sure that the entire elephant was covered in these little triangles. Then I turned the design around and just cut out uh, around the edges of the elephant. Then I simply took my glue and stuck the elephant on the page. I did decide to add a little black line uh, with some markers around the elephant to make it stand out a little more. I kind of like this idea but I think I could have done something more interesting but I kind of like how it turned out. So yeah, I decided to stick these two pages together, so here you can see why I skipped a page every time. Because the pages in this book are really like thin and flimsy, I decided to, to make stick two of them together to create one page every time. So they are a little bit stronger and you won't be able to see the design on the other side of the page through as easily. On to the third page. I really like this one. The prompt was make something rainbow themed. So I decided to go a bit basic with the unicorn and a rainbow. So I took my colored pencils and all the colors of the rainbow. And I just started by using a fine liner and uh, tracing all the lines in my sketch. I didn't do the sketch on camera because I used a reference on my phone and I filmed with my phone so I couldn't do that at the same time. Mm. 
Now I'm just coloring in rainbow and this looks so satisfying. I love time lapses like this. And here I'm just using this kind of purple silverish color to create shadows in the face of the unicorn and I had no idea what I was doing so I was just like coloring it, it in a bit so yeah I also decided to use some brown on the nose and I just realized if you zoom in the nose looks a little bit like a frog I don't know how that happened but yeah I'm just continuing doing some stuff with different colors and try to create some shadows now I'm just coloring in the rainbow hair of the unicorn And I thought the face of the unicorn was just looking too white on the white background. So I filled it in entirely with some light shading with my two colors. So the, like the purplish silver and the brown. I think I could have done this a lot better if I was just better at drawing. But for now I think it's good enough. I also decided to make the uh, horn orange there wasn't really a reason for that i just decided to do that but i really like how this page turned out so yeah that was it thank you so much for watching this video i am planning to do like a weekly update on the pages i did so you can look forward to that and like subscribe thank you so much for watching 